welcome back to the Pokemon X Nuzlocke, where today we're going to be continuing from Route 8. Now, Darbus, you may say, haven't we already been to Route 8? Yes, we have, but not since we've gotten the new badge that lets us push big things. So, <laughs> so let's push a big thing. I'm really good at describing. So I wanted to push this out of the way and come down here because there's an item we can grab, and it's a water stone. I don't know what we can use this on, actually. <laughs> Is there anything we can use it on? But uh, instead of continuing on on our journey, I instead want to go to the, the Zubat cave, I think it was, and have a look in there, because I think there was something that we could do and like move out the way to help get around a bit. I don't know, I can't remember how that cave works. I could be wrong, so <laughs> we could end up going in here, turning around and then going straight back out again. Oh, wait, hold on. I know where it is. Right, let's go down here. Because at least then, we don't have to go all the way around to come back through. Go. There we go. That's fine. I wanted to at least do that. <laughs> I, I don't know what else is in that cave. We'll find out eventually. But for the moment, I kind of just wanted to leave it like that. Ooh, let's have a look at our berry count. How many berries we got? So, we have... I've been, I've been doing a tiny bit of farming. <laughs> so before the episode, I collected all the berries that needed to be picked. We have 65 Auron berries now. We have 74 Petra berries. It's a bit surprising. I thought that we would have had more Auron berries than Petra berries, but that's kind of interesting. And we have 38 Mago berries. So we're getting places with the whole berry stuff. And as well, before the episode started, I planted an Ayapapa. An Ayapapa berry. So I planted that. And then, uh, possibly in the next episode, it should be okay to harvest them, and then we'll plant some more. Right, so let's go into the Pokemon Center, because we are still one Pokemon short, so I want to, I want to fix that. We're gonna, we're gonna get someone. I think, <laughs> I think all the Pokemon that we can have are under-leveled. As you know, we can take out Quackling again. We have the Gym Badge, so if it goes to level 30, it doesn't really matter. Amora, Spectre, not Farfetch'd. I like Farfetch'd. A Quacklin. It was an accident. Don't, don't shoot me. So I've rearranged the party a bit. And now we have... Who do we have in front? We have Quacklin in front, Kermit, Rambi, and then Broccoli. Buggy and then Spyro. Hopefully that should be okay. And we shouldn't really have too much of a problem. I might actually... I'm going to change the, the person in front who's got to be Kermit instead. I think the Pokemon coming up should be okay with Kermit in front. Ooh, what's this? Gimme. An Ayapapa Berry. I could have buried that as well. No, it's not fair. Wait, is this a Pokemon? Did we get a Pokemon here? It's a Houndor. Wait, I, I'm really confused about this. I can't remember if we got a Pokemon here before. Buggy. Go. Do some damage to it. Wait, actually... No, because this is... Uh, this is kind of a weak Pokemon. If I use someone that could paralyze it, then I don't think it will go so well. Maybe we're gonna just try and confuse it and then let it hurt itself. Maybe that will possibly go a bit better. All right, let's switch. Or should I? I should heal first. Let's heal first, and then let's change. I, I want to make sure that Buggy's gonna be okay before I switch. <gasps> no. <sighs> I should have tried catching it. <laughs> I'm doing terribly with trying to capture Pokemon now. What's wrong with me? Let's move this out of the way. I swear in the last Nuzlocke, I didn't miss any. I still somehow caught all the Pokemon that I wanted to. But now uh, I'm, I'm really not doing so well. Right, can I... Let's see if I can figure this out. It's a puzzle. Let's see how high my IQ is. No. No, come on. I'm nearly there, I think. Hold on. Have I... Have I done this? Have I figured it out? Push it up. And then push it this way. Yeah, I did it. Now I'm a smart boy. I do my ABCs. I do my XYZs. Ooh, was it... Was it HM? TM. Thunder Wave. Alright, let's fight this guy. We're gonna start fighting people. I don't know where the next town is. And I... I, I don't... <laughs> I just saw the mouse. I fixed it, it's fine. So I don't know how far 
we are from the next town. We shouldn't be that far, I don't think, but it should be fine. I think the Pokemon that we have at the moment would be usable enough for us to get to the next town. If not, then whoopsie doops, we've broken it. But that's one thing done. I think the rest of them should be okay. Oh, we're kind of higher level than them anyway, so it shouldn't really matter. Can I talk to you? Are you a fight? You are a fight. Ah, they're just stones, right? Yes. I don't know what you're on about, but yes. Oh, no, that's not going to go well. It's a grass type thing, right? Let's get Spyro. Spyro will be better. No. What do you know? <laughs> well, that's not fair. Wake up. You have a Pokemon to burn. Burn him. Get him. Yeah. Uh, Azumarill. Yeah, let's switch. I don't want him to die. Right, let's switch to Broccoli. Let's Leech Seed. Wait, what? I think there was a move. Wasn't there a move uh, in a couple episodes ago where it was better than Leech Seed or something? I've forgotten. It was a good move, but I, I, I got rid of it. I'll try and find out what it is, and then I sh I'll try and use it for the next part. But it doesn't seem like Broccoli is doing a whole lot. Yeah, but the Leech Seed is still going to do damage, so I don't think it really matters. Dunsparce. Ah. What type is Dunsparce? Let's go with Quacklin, because I can't remember what Dunsparce is. It's a weird Pokemon. So it's got a round head and a pokey thing at the end of it. Fury Cutter. Wait, is it a bug Pokemon? No. Right, let's switch. Um, because it seems to not be doing very well. He's nearly dead, though. It'll be fine. Let's see if Sparrow can do anything to him. No. Stop it. I'll burn you. I think it's a bug Pokemon. I can't remember. I can't remember. Dunsparce is weird. Hey, there we go. That's what we're waiting for. I think he's our first level 30 Pokemon. Hey, and Kermit's level 30. Wait, when's Kermit gonna evolve? That's soon, right? Ooh, I'm excited now. Oh, I'm getting all giddy. Well, let's fight this guy. I think this is the guy to fight. A few years back, this really strange dude named Colrus told me that these big stones emit some kind of special energy. Ooh, that's interesting. Where is the next town? What is the next town? Geosenge Town. Wait, isn't it that uh, town with the, the, the stones? Or is that somewhere up north? I've forgotten. We'll find out. We'll find out what the next place is. We should be able to get there fairly easily. Oh no, it's, uh, it's one of these guys. Stop right there. I remember you. You're the one who foiled our fossil finding plans. And now you're here, standing around these stones. Do you have any idea what they even are? Of course you don't. You know nothing about the legend of 3,000 years ago that says... Wait, what does it say? Oh, whatever. Who cares about all that? It's time for me to get some sweet revenge with style. That's cool. I don't think you're gonna do so great though. Hey, it's that one. Right, how are we gonna take care of this guy? Uh, let's water pulse it, because I can't remember what... <laughs> What type Houndor is? Oh, it's fine. See, I did it. It doesn't matter. See, a lot of the times with Pokemon and, and, and sometimes accidentally getting critical hits, it is really just an accident. <laughs> I don't mean to. If I had a Pikachu, that would have been... That would be easy. But it's a Rock type. I think Golbat's a Rock type, so we should be able to just do Water Pulse and do some critical... Or super effective damage. No? Go away. Your mouth's too big. Yeah, we win. We did it. Ah, oh, Rambi's level 29. Everyone's getting really close to getting to level 30. That's awesome. You may have beaten me again, but when I lose, I go out in style. That's pretty stylish. What the? How could I lose again to a little punk like you? What are you, some kind of trainer prodigy or something? Who knows? I see. Roger that. Heh. <laughs> Gotta love the holocaster. I can get updates on my mission in real time with this stylish device. Whoever thought this thing up must have been one truly stylish individual too. And on that note, it's time for me to scram. With style. He's stylish. 
I wish I was as stylish as that guy. Who are we fighting? Let's see this guy. I can feel the energy from these stones and hunts. Ooh, there's psychic Pokemon around here. I think. I think in this era I should start being a lot more careful with the trainers and the kind of Pokemon I encounter. If I'm too careless or if I'm really not paying attention, I don't think this could end well. Because I don't have anything that is going to be good against uh, like psychic type Pokemon, so I don't think this will go very well. I'll be on my guard. So the reason I think it's a uh, that town. Don't look at me like that. The reason I think it's that town with the stones around it is because it's called Geosenge, and it reminds me of Stonehenge. See, I'm putting the things together. Can't you see we adults are busy? Don't interrupt our work, kid. I'm not a kid. I'm a big person. Wait, should I switch? I should switch. But who to? Um, Spyro? I think I remember electric types being super effective against a water type, so I I don't think that's something I really want to try. Let's just try our luck with Spyro and see where he gets us. It should be fine because he's gonna level up soon anyway. Yeah. There we go. Krogunk. Um, it's water and poison, so... or is it? I don't even know why I try guessing the, the types of Pokemon because most of the time I'm, I'm wrong. So it doesn't really matter. But I know that Krogunk can poison us. That's something I do remember. So I, I want to be careful around him. See, the leech seed is doing something. Even if it doesn't do anything to begin with, it helps a lot. Right, this, this scratch should be it. There we go. We did it. A lot of these fights really aren't as intense as they are, but I somehow make them out to be so much more intense. Well, if that's how you're going to be, I'll just stop working. Harumph. Sure. If you want to. Right, let's keep going. Is there anything... Why are there all these... Uh, what do you want? Why are you everywhere? Can I go this way? I can. But what's the point in skipping it all? Wait, is this the town? I think it is this place. Geosenge Town. Geosenge Town is a town of stones. Oh, okay. And now I know that. Right, let's heal all our Pokemon. I should really go back and finish the other guys off. But at least we got to Geosenge Town. Let's have a look around and see what's peeping. I really like this town for <laughs> two main reasons. One, because it, it's kind of like Stonehenge, so it's like, oh, this is, it's kind of neat. There all these stones everywhere, and then you go up a bit, and then you've got all the big stones. I think there's a camera opportunity here as well. But then, <laughs> later in the game, it just gets insane out of nowhere. I, I love that town. It's great. Oh, hey. I didn't even know. <laughs> I didn't know I was there. Wait, who? Oh, Kermit's level 31. I didn't even <laughs> realize. Pachirisu. I don't know what Pokemon that is. This is when my ignorance of this generation is gonna start coming through, because I don't know what this is. I've forgotten. Quacklin, go. Do something useful. Oh, that thing. I, th I thought the name was familiar. I was thinking it was the flying squirrel thing. Not this one. Oh, no. No, no, no. Abort. Abort. Go Ram B. Ram him. Uh, so what are we doing? Worry Seed Synthesis. I can't remember what either of the, well, Synthesis Resource Health, but let's bulldoze. What are you doing? Brace itself. For what? Yeah. Get out of here. Go away. We don't need your kind here. You weird Pikachu wannabe. Hippopotas. I'm trying to remember what type of Pokemon it is, but I can't remember. Is this a hippo? I remember- oh, it's- wait. No, I don't know what type of Pokemon this is. Let's just hit it and see what happens. Okay, not much. No! Stop making my Pokemon go to sleep. Let's take Kermit out. If I remember how this works, then can't you... put a Pokemon away? before the sleeping comes in. I think I remember it working like that because they're not on the field, so... Maybe. I can't remember. 
Let's just beat them up. Yeah. Alright. So now, now we've dealt with her and her dumb Pokemon. I want to take on the other member of Team Flare and then venture more into this town. Right. You. Talk to you. You inspect the stones, I inspect you. What? There's yeah, a gulpin. Wait, did gulpin just make that noise? <laughs> Is that the noise that's hiding in gulpin? Oh, come it can only use like ah. Oh. oh, that's what Encore does then. So I'm I'm a bit slow. <laughs> Am I stuck to this move? I mean, it does damage, so I I guess I'll keep using it. Poison gas. Oh, no. I didn't want this. It's one Pokemon. What's wrong with me? Come on. Let's just take it out. Rambi. Let's get Rambi out. Bulldoze. Get him. Yeah. Well, at least we got rid of him. That was the only Pokemon that we had to deal with as well, so it... Eh. It was fine. As a result of my inspection, I can tell you that you are stronger than I am. This is very observant. Right, so now I've dealt with these guys. Let's head further into the town. Luckily, no one's gone yet. But I'm hoping that doesn't happen anytime soon. I think we should be okay for a bit longer with these kinds of Pokemon. Right, so what are we doing? Should I go this way? Where'd that guy go? Oh, here he is. Hear this, Pipsqueak. Team Flare is going to use a stone on Route 10, and a fantastic treasure to make everyone on our team happy. In this world, the ones who have the power are the ones who win with Flare. What does that even mean? Bardus! Was someone from Team Flare here just now? Yes. Why would I say no? You said he was here, but he isn't here anymore, is he? There's only a dead end up ahead. I wonder why that Team Flare guy went. Uh, do I follow? <laughs> I wonder what's behind the rock. I don't know. Probably nothing. Let's actually look around this town and see what they have to offer us. Ah, <sighs> oh, you know what time it is. Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Say, Fuzzy Pickles. Yeah. Right, what are we doing? Um, let's take a- wait, whoa. Camera guy, you got really tall. <laughs> wait, hold on. What's happening? Why something's broken with the gyro sensor? Um, I actually cannot turn. I'm stuck. Hold on. <laughs> Wait. Wow. What a great photograph. It will always bring back the fondest of memories. Right, so what does this town actually have to offer? We got some big stones. Is this a shop? Can I go in here and buy things? It's not. Who is this? Who are you? Someone wandering for 3,000 years trying to find a Pokemon. I've heard a story about a man like that. But you can't believe everything you hear. It's true. I believe it. It is true. Wait, why aren't some of these places available to go into? I'd like to. Who are you? Hey you, if you want to know more about the stones, come to the hotel. Okay. Wait, is there anywhere I can actually buy things, or are these just, like, houses? For some reason, a Pokemon will not evolve when it holds an Everstone. I have quite a few of them, so I'll share one with you as well. Ooh. I don't know if I'd actually use this. Could Pokemon and stones have some kind of connection? Think about it. Some Pokemon even evolve when exposed to a fire or water stone. Ah, <sighs> she has a point. I think they're aliens. I hear the history of this area goes back to ancient times. You can probably get details from the guide in the hotel. Okay. Right, so where is this hotel? Oh. I guess that's it. In. Hello. 
You saw those huge stones on Route 10, didn't you? Some of the bigger ones are more than 30 feet tall, and there are hundreds of millions of them spanning more than a mile in all. I suppose it's possible that people put up those stones with the help from lots of Pokemon, but for what purpose? There are lots of theories about them, of course. Some people think they mark a burial site of warriors from ancient times. As I say, they were built as family memorials, but they were set up as a ritual to celebrate life. I don't know about that, though. Personally, I think they might be a kind of calendar. You see it all the time in astronomy studies. Ancient cultures use stones to track the movement of the sun. One thing's for sure, those stones are full of mysteries. Many believe that they contain some kind of mysterious power. I just hope it's benign power that's watching over us and the Pokemon. Speaking of which, there are some mysterious stones in the neighbouring Shalor City too. Ooh, so I'm guessing that's our next place to go to. Right, so I think that's everything we're really going to do for this episode of the Pokemon Nuzlocke. I think... Wait, Lucario, what are you doing? Hold on. <laughs> we're going to talk to this person. Hey, you're that trainer from Route 5. Oh, oof. I'm not exactly sure, but I think Lucario is saying it wants to battle with you. Would you battle with us? So, I have two Lucario, but do you know which is the one that's taken a shine to you? <sighs> Can I keep him? Is he mine? Let's bop him. That would be nice, to have a Lucario. But, um... Isn't there a devolution of Lucario that we could have gotten as well? Well, not from this person, but I, I mean in the game. I think there is. Right. It's nearly down, so I could just use Water Pulse. Hopefully... Wait. No. Get him. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. But I don't know if I should switch Pokemon or not. Seed Bomb. Right, I'm going to switch Pokemon. I want to see if Quacklin is going to do much better. Right, let's, let's give him a bop. Wait. <laughs> I'm scared. Something's gonna go wrong and he's gonna bop me and it's gonna do a lot of damage. Ah, like now he's gonna bop me. I can see it coming. Um, do I not have... No. Okay. Then I'm switching Pokemon. Um, Spyro? Ugh. Why does it do so much damage? Oh, is its attack getting stronger? Ah, I have to get rid of it now. It's gonna kill someone. <laughs> that was so close. I felt like someone would have lost if I didn't end it there. I was actually starting to get a bit scary. What? Not even an ultra powerful Lucario duo could stand up to you. Yeah. I'm sick epic. Okay, now I get it. I see why Lucario likes you so much. So, do you remember that I'm the gym leader of Shallow City? Once you get past the cave just beyond here, you'll be there. So stop by and say hello. Ooh. Okay. Right, so... Um... Yeah. Go away. So I'm gonna leave going to Shallow City until the next part of the Nuzlocke. So, I'm gonna heal up everyone, and while I'm doing that, I would like to thank you for watching this part of the Pokemon X Nuzlocke. Uh, I apologize that this episode was a, a bit late and took a couple weeks to get out. I really do apologize, but hopefully it was a bit longer and we did more th things that made it worth the wait. So, until next time, thank you very much for watching, and uh, remember to point up your stones.